Welcome everybody. Episode, I think it's 10. Uh, I've lost track of them. There's some, some recordings we want to do um, that I think I'm going to put on to like the next episode. But anyway, we are here. Whatever episode it is, I think it's 10. Uh, what's up? It's me, Luan. Lovely to see you all again. Um, thank you guys so much for keeping up with what I've been up to this uh, this year so far with this Road to Virtuoso thing. So just quick little check-in. Um, let me... All right, cool. I can feel the air con blowing on me and I just need to double check that it's not messing up with your, with your, uh, with your microphone. Actually, let me double check it again. Yo, 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 yo. Cool, you can't hear it. I can feel the air blowing on. It's just like cooling me down. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Because basically what's happened in the studio is further down the hall. So this is another office space that, um, that my wife uses for her business. And they have been kind enough to let me use it uh, in the t for the time being till we can get that aircon fixed. But yeah, down the hall, it is a hot box. You can see how much I'm sweating. I have just been getting absolutely destroyed. Today was a day that I woke up and I was like, this is going to be a hard and super shit day. Uh, turns out it wasn't, um, you know, woke up, started my morning. Uh, one a, I only had like, I got to bed pretty late because my head was just filled with like so much thinking, um, like so much thinking about all this content stuff, what to do. Um, and uh, boom, no mercy on the Adeline front. She was up at like, you know, 1 a.m., I think she woke up around just after 1 a.m. And then there was no sign of her going to sleep. So I got up, I hung out with her, I chilled, watched a bit of anime, played, lifted um, little blocks and stuff. And she just ran me around the house till 3.30 in the morning. And that's when she decided to sleep and then went back to bed and woke up and had to get ready for the day at, you know, just after seven, I think nearly eight o'clock, we had to get started, my wife and I. So it was a good recipe for a shit day of no sleep. Um, but your boy got into the studio and I was like, look, all I have to do is I have to show up, show up and deliver my best. Even if my best is not super hunt, like it's not crazy. I was like, maybe like, I mean, there's a thing that I always hear like Layla Homozi and stuff say like, you know, just do the thing for like 10 minutes. And then once you do the thing for 10 minutes, then see if you, if your life sucks. Um, and that's a great way to get started and not procrastinate, especially for content creation. If you're just like, hey, like just get started and then do it, it usually you get comfortable. Like just now I was like, I've got to copy one of the VODs over to my hard drive so I can do the post edits for the shorts and things like that. And I was like, uh, let's just get that done. Peace out, sit in the air con for a bit and then go get some lunch because I'm super hungry. Got to get my GYG. Dylan, if you're watching this, GYG is coming in hot today. Uh, but basically, I was like, oh, you know what? I could just turn on the video. Let's do some Road to Virtuoso. Let, let, let you guys know a bit what's going on right now, where I'm, my head's at. A little bit of a two-week recap because we're now, we've done two weeks now of um, starting this journey. So, uh, yeah, and after just like what I'm looking here at the time, it's been three minutes. I'm already vibing now. Now you guys are getting rant. You're about to hear... Luan story time. So just buckle up. It is Luan hangout time. As you can see, I'm just relaxing in my chair, chilling back. We've got the air con blowing. Let's go. So basically day's been pretty, pretty shitty. But as soon as I got started doing the things that I needed to do, uh, you know, life was good. You know, hung out with Addy in the morning, made a breakfast. You know, I got to do her hair. I did her hair in a like cute little bun, like, like a little bow on her hair. I just, I do like this one because I'm super bad at doing hair but I do like this little bow on her hair and it pops out and it's very cute. And um, yeah, and so uh, got to hang out with her, got to smile and I was like, cool, no matter what my first world problems are, you know, she's healthy, my wife's healthy, I'm stoked, I'm healthy, we're good. Uh, and then um, went on, turned on the stream and y'all turned up. So um, the stream has been just like absolutely blowing my mind lately. Like you guys are just absolutely on fire. I don't know what the TikTok algorithm is doing last week. At the end of the week, it was doing the weirdest thing where I was like, I don't know what I'm doing right, but I'm like, it just seems to be working. Like we were pumping like 4K plus people in streams. People had like 4K plus viewers on um, on the uh, 
on the gigging streams, which is weird because normally I only have like five to 10 people. But I mean, then I, and then I was like, oh man, let's go. I'm going to hit Monday. Shit's going to go. Like we've got the studio. We're going to be fucking smashing it. And then uh, lo and behold, Monday came along and we did not hit those numbers. But um, I'm super grateful that heaps of the people that we did meet over the weekend have jumped in and they're all hanging out. And I'm like, oh my God, this is just incredible. Um, like YouTube has been increasing in numbers with the, with the viewers and people like multi-streaming, putting like being on the chat on TikTok, which is so funny. They're on TikTok on the phone chatting, but they've got me on like a TV. There's a delay currently. I'm going to solve that issue. I don't know what the issue is right now. I don't know why my YouTube is setting up a delay. I think within the program, like within the live streaming studio on YouTube, I have to fix it because I know I don't have it setting on here that's doing that. Well, I'm not, I don't know, no, for sure, because I won't 100% say it. I know why it is, but I think it's YouTube. So I'm going to try and fix that because I, I really want you guys to feel like when you hear me sing and you hear me talk, you can immediately get the feedback. I know TikTok has about like a five or six second delay from when you guys input something to when I receive it. And then obviously when you hear me again. But um, yeah, so we're, we're going to fix that. But just checking in on like our month goals. So right now, you know, number one goal is, you know, I need to make money through content. Um, I think that goal will not be hit at all in January. I was quite ambitious. I was like, you know what, if I can like smash this out and do this really, really well, you know, I can try and figure out affiliate marketing. I can try and figure out how to do like, you know, AdSense and all this different things. And I was like, oh, and like maybe like figure out ways to, monetize the stream or things like that. And I was like, I was just, just sh like throwing shit on the wall towards everything. And I, I'm pretty sure uh, it's just not gonna happen like at all. I think this is gonna be like a six month to a year journey, which I'm totally down for. Like this whole content creation thing is like, this is my life now. Like I, the way I look at it is I'm like, okay, cool. What, we, we're gonna accomplish a hit song in 10 years. Let's go and fucking just grind. And like, it doesn't even have to happen. It could happen 20, 30, 40. I, I honestly just don't care. Um, it's mainly just like, I'm just gonna show up and keep doing it. And whatever my rate of output is, especially because I'm finding that my work output is getting larger and larger the more I'm doing it. Like the, I'm able to sit down and edit longer. I'm able to, you know, practice a song longer. I'm able to like show a bit more like discipline in showing up and doing the work. I can be at the stream. Even when I don't wanna, like my body is like, oh, you're tired, man, don't worry about it. Like Friday, I had to do a seven hour show and I was like, you know, no one's going to judge you if you don't show up for the stream. And I was like, well, the standard I'm holding is that like, okay, what does Luan look like who writes a hit song, who is a great content creator, who brings value, who, do all the, who does all those things? And I was like, okay, well, that's the standard that I'm holding. And that Luan would be like, you know, it would be a hard day, but it's not a day you couldn't do. And so I just pivoted and I went like, you know what? Let's just spend the stream practicing something that I need to practice, which is ocean. And I got the 12 string out and we had like a two hour, like an hour and a half at least, just fucking great time just doing that. Saturday, absolutely destroyed. I got home from the gig at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. And then we like showed up for a stream at 10 a.m. And Trish got so much value out of it. Um, the stream was about uh, giving a, it was like a, a viewer lesson stream, something I really want to do. I'm going to keep iterating on it and see how we go. But I would definitely love to host like, you know, once a week, um, maybe once every fortnight, just a stream where all of you who follow my content, all of you who are jumping in the streams, um, uh, if I can give you some value, you know, you hop on the stream for like 10 minutes, I can give you feedback on your music. Like it doesn't like, like one-on-one -on -one lessons. Yeah. I mean, I do offer those as well. And like, I do have students that um, do have one-on-one -on -one lessons and they, they come weekly. But the, the thing I found um, is like, sometimes you just need to hear someone see what you do and give you just like a little bit of advice. And then um, it's helped me a ton, just like a word, a sentence. Sometimes it, it really is just like, just a phrase, a perspective shift. And then you're like, oh, like the biggest perspective shift for me was I listened to Jerry Garcia, who's the guitarist. He, he used to be the guitarist of um, The Grateful Dead and he's who John Mayer replaced. And he said, you know, we're just products of our limitations. I mean, he was talking about musicians 
And because some the the context of it was like, um, you know, how can someone go and see like your best playing? Like, how can they learn how to play like Jerry Garcia? He's like, oh, just watch my last show. You know, watch my last live show. And his his mentality was, can you pick up your instrument and can you push yourself every single day? And I think that if you can create a feedback loop like that, that was like the big thing that unlocked for me, like, whoa. And so for me, I personally feel I've gotten a lot better over the past like four or five months as a musician, as a singer, as a guitar player, as a creator, everything. Cause I'm just not even thinking about like, oh, what, I mean, I'm not even thinking about like, what's gonna be the result of this. I'm like, okay, well, I know where my limit is and now I'm just gonna push it. And I'm just gonna keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And you know, like on 21 Drum Street, we just break through the ceilings, just break through the ceilings. <laughs> but um, anyway, sorry, that got a bit intense, but you know, it was just a simple thing like for him to say that, you know, it was like an hour and a bit of him talking. And I was like, this is super fascinating. But then when he said that, I was like, it just hit me so hard at that point. Cause I was like, yeah, you're fucking right. I like, we all sit at our limitations as musicians. Um, I mean, even as people, you know, you like get stuck. Like you don't, you don't even realize it. You're just in the zone of like, okay, well, you know, this behavior is getting me X and you just never change from being that person. Or, and I and I think like if you can just grow, I think we're all looking to grow, but we're never really finding that way to analyze ourselves to like really push through it. But I mean, for music, that's getting a bit more deep on the like fancy side, which, you know, in the future we can talk about shit like that if you guys like that kind of content. But um, for me, music wise, what was serving me was like, okay, well, I sound like a guy who's been singing for like two or three years but he's been doing the, I've been that version of that singer for like six years, which is really scary to think about. Like, you're like, wait, what? You're like, well, I've been playing like, especially like if you look at me as a guitar player, like I've been playing for 19 years, but I would say that my skill level as a guitar player hit a certain point, like at 10 years, like 10 or 11 years of guitar playing. And then I kind of just didn't really improve. I kind of just stayed there and like there were little pivots, but I never pushed myself to, I never thought like, oh, how can I be better? How can I connect more with people? And I'm never thinking in the mo. I was never thinking in the moment, is this my best playing? Am I about to really connect with you with my instrument? And so that's where I like, I have really shifted. And I think you guys have seen it in the content. I mean, like put it in the comments. Let me know if you guys think I've improved. I think I have, I'm really, we sang Yellow and we sang Creep today. And I'm like, those are two songs that there was no fucking way, no fucking way I could have ever sung those songs. Like at all, like, I, even fucking easy six, six weeks ago, like no, two months ago, no way. Even then when I was feeling like, oh man, I'm killing it. It was like, there's no way. I was terrified of Yellow. I just didn't want to do it. It was just such high, such a high range all the time using falsetto all the time. I'm like, Oh my God, creep has this huge falsetto thing when he sings that she's running away. And, um, man, it, it's so it's just been a big unlock, but anyway, I'm going to rein it back in, uh, just cause I don't want to talk forever, especially I don't want to take you guys time all the time. Um, I'll take your time later when we're doing super cool shit, but yeah. So check in for this week. Uh, it's been two weeks hitting the goals, content monetization, I think I'm just going to like literally fuck that, that goal right off. I'm going to write that off and I'll be like, okay, we're restructuring that and being like, okay, we want to get monetized in a year. And so then now I'm like, okay, well, and I'm going to have to restructure how I do things. So that's why a huge shift of the priority on like what I needed to get done this month is building a content funnel and structure. So in case you guys are wondering what that is, um, Gary Vaynerchuk has a thing called uh, pillar content modeling. Uh, it's where you like create, you know, a piece of pillar content and then you rip from it. Um, so for me, it's my, my stream, I will live stream and then I will cut snippets out of the live stream and that becomes my short form content. Um, the only thing I will record is like this. I will sit down and record this and I wanna record tutorial videos. I tried to record a tutorial video yesterday of Wagon Wheel and fuck, it's me inside this. I've just finished the stream. It's so hot. I had the fan on me and I had to turn the fan off because I was re recording. And then I recorded this video of me doing like, this is how you play wagon wheel. And in the moment I was so tired and like, 
uh, and I was like, oh yeah, that's good enough. And then I went back to edit it last night and Sarah could hear it in the background. And Sarah was like, you're not posting that, are you? And I was like, uh, I mean, do you think it sounds bad? I'm like, she's like, uh, you sound like you're depressed. <laughs> I was like, I know it sounds like I was depressed because I was depressed. I was like freaking burning up in there, just sweating, like just losing so much water in my system. Anyway, so um, yeah, that's going to have to get reshot. I'm really sorry. Uh, I wanted to post that because I'm like, man, I haven't done like a tutorial piece of content, but I think we got a good clip today during the stream. And so this is the thing about like the content pillar stuff. Um, uh, a lot of things that you can do as a content creator. Look, I'm at the beginning. So if you're looking at me and you're like, oh, this guy might know what he's talking about. I truly just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just going based off the people that I believe um, I want to emulate. Because right now I haven't done the work to be like, oh, okay, well, this is the great content, you know? Like I haven't really figured out my content yet. And that's fine, you know, it takes time. You just keep posting and posting. I think once we do a thousand videos, we will have a clear understanding of like what the Luan brand on YouTube will look like or on TikTok or on, you know, Twitch and things like that. Like the stream will be like, we know what we like. Uh, we know how to do things. We know what, how to, I will figure it out. I'm assuming at like a thousand iterations, there's gonna be something. Um, but in the meantime, I find it like, try to connect with someone like if you're lucky enough to be in a space where there's other creators and you can learn from them and you can build masterminds, that's super cool. I don't really have many people around me that are kind of wanting to do what I want to do. And it's a bit wild, especially even in the creator space, like they either want to just be streamers or they just want to be creators or they just want to be a songwriter or they just want to be an artist. And I'm kind of like boldly setting out to be like, well, what if I do all of it? And um, so I'm trying to figure out how that looks for me so I can like continue to grow each day. So when you're like figuring out your content, like I look super, super highly to people like Alex Hormozy, uh, well, at least the Hormozys. And I look at their branding structure around what they do. And, you know, you can look at them, you can look at Gary Vaynerchuk. I mean, you could look at Paul David, you could look at like Patrick Bet David, you could look at um, Think Media, just like a lot of people I mean, sometimes they'll do things for views, but majority of the time, it's not about views. It's just about give value. And so like when I get comments from people being like, thank you so much, like you made my day. Like I was having a horrible day. Thank you. That's when I'm like, I'm doing the stream correctly. I might not have a thousand people on the stream, but I know that like, you know, you made a difference. And I think over a long enough time horizon, if you're consistent enough, you know, you can do that all the time. And then it, it reaches scale. And so I think that's one thing to th consider when you're approaching content. Um, Cause I had a, a conversation with another content creator friend of mine. And I was like trying to like riff on like, you know, like what are the goals? Like, cause when I look at it, I'm like um, certain things and certain behaviors are gonna like put you at a disadvantage at a certain really long, long term because you can't have that creative space to like push yourself and be who you wanna be and things like that. And so that's something that I'm always trying to be aware of. And, and when I listen to people like Alex Wilmose and things like that, and I, and I look at Gary Vaynerchuk, like a lot of these guys just don't change who they, like they one, they just don't change who they are. Who they are on camera and who they are off camera, I'm pretty sure is exactly the same thing. Um, so, and that's the same thing with me. I'm just like this dude who's just like, oh, just fucking going everywhere with it. And, um, has scattered thoughts. I'm getting better as a communicator, but obviously as you can tell from like this, it's like a 19 minute rant already. I try to make it short, but it's still not going. Um, but you know, when you're creating your content funnel and you're creating your con content space, one thing that I'm starting to notice is like, okay, well, like one, your content's gonna be on there forever unless you delete it. And personally for me, I don't wanna delete anything I do. I want it all to be there. I want you guys to see as shit as I am. And then I'm going to work super hard to be as great as I could be. And then you guys will always see that difference so that no one will ever know, like no one will ever question that it's hard work that gets you a result. You know, there, there will be no shortcuts for us. And, um, and for the people who get lucky enough to get shortcuts, I am super hyped for you. I just, I just don't get that kind of shit. I had to work really hard with the guitar playing. It didn't come natural. I had to work really hard with the singing. It did not come natural. 
Um, I had to work really hard with content creation. Shit don't come natural. I had to work really hard with the songwriting. It does not come natural at all. Um, so like I just, uh, one, I'm quite envious of it, um, of you guys who do have like re- this really innate talent to like pull shit off. I just don't have that. So you're going to see the documented process of someone who just like has to eat shit all the time. And uh, eventually, <laughs> hopefully we get a result. But content funnel stuff, you know, you want to think, can I deliver value, deliver value, and then that's it. Like if it is, I mean, like, you always hear about, oh, go viral, how to go viral, how to go viral. And I'm like, man, it's just so hard. Like we had a couple of videos that got um, some pretty cool, um, like some YouTube shorts that got a couple thousand views. And for me, that's a lot. I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. I was getting like a hundred views or 200 views. And so some videos were getting like these mini pop-offs and I was like, oh, that's so sick. And so, um, and I think they're attributed to like the way I've paced my videos and things like that. So um, I'm still trying to deliver the value on what I have but I'm not trying to be like, like clickbaiting and like trying to be like, this is like trying to trick people. I don't want to do, I I just don't think that's how I'm going to win. I mean, I could change my, I could probably, I mean, we could try it if it works. I don't know if it works, but I don't know. I just feel like if you're going to do something like that, you might attract the wrong kind of audience. And I really appreciate the community that we build. And I don't want it to be like, I, I do treat it like a treasure. Like, cause if I, if I, the person, the creator, the, the person who is the guy um, instigating this community, and if I can't stick to it, and if I'm like chasing the quick result, then I feel like we're not going to have that wholesome, amazing thing that we really, really love right now um, in the future. And so that's kind of why, you know, I really want to just be creating value-based content, uh, content that like, you know, it might get like, I mean, I would love to get like 10,000 people come in and be like, oh, this is amazing. This has really helped me. This has helped me. This has helped me. This has helped me. If I can see that kind of stuff, that feedback loop, I'm like, okay, cool. We're on the right track. So uh, I think that's where I need to get the tutorial stuff going, like really, really grinding it. But we have built the the, the funnel. So the funnel right now is um, I have my pillar content, which is the stream. And then I'm cutting the stream up into multiple short pieces of content. And then I'm learning to capture like different parts of like the audience. And, and I think as I've been doing the short form content, I've been learning to like see parts of the stream and like when they're happening. And like, when I see someone like starting a riff in the chat, I'm like, all right, we need to go down this road because this road could lead to something very fun. And um, so I've been starting to recognize those things in the stream. So when people like start being a bit silly or like people having fun requests and like learning how to like drive that around. And I, and I swear I even saw Kiwi bunny in the stream today. She's just like, do you know John Mayer? And I was like, ah, oh, you're just trying to get in the clip. You cheeky. Um, so that was, that was pretty fun. But um, yeah, so right now the content funnel is looking pretty good. The only thing that's missing out is the long form stuff. Um, so I'm just getting back on that train now. Um, so the short form I think is very taken care of. I think through all the, uh, spontaneous things that happen in the stream, um, spontaneous like education things that happen in the stream, the the execution of some of the covers. I think we got enough each day and um, hopefully that will continue to, to grow and bring more people to the stream. Um, that's the objective with it is um, if I deliver value on that content, it will bring people back into the stream and then the people in the stream will then help like jump back into the content and help bring the content to more eyeballs. And then just like this vicious cycle of growth is the goal. Um, and then, and then that can be that, that is the content stuff taken care of. So my goal is to get three pieces of short form and one long form a day. And I think we're really, really on track to achieving that by Jan- end of January. I think we're really, really close. We learned yellow. That was a huge win. Um, uh, I haven't gone to the gym. I have a confession. I have not gone to the gym. I went to the gym once very, very lazy of me. So that is what it is, but, uh, hopefully I will figure out how to fit that in my schedule. But aside from that, one huge other thing is because obviously um, I'm just going to put that uh, content creation monetization shit on the back burner. I've had to like really build up like a teaching business and then my gigging business again and really like nail it and make sure they're like automated so that like when clients come in, they come in and then I set up the out, like the outbound, they, they get all the information, we get all the all the uh, calendar stuff done, everything just becomes a lot more faster and easier and, and quicker to manage. So that's um, what I've been doing. So on my front, um, 
Uh, but and that's almost done. I think we're really, really close to having like the the event space and all those things and the gigs all sorted out. Um, teaching, we've just started getting more teaching students. By the way, if you guys need a, a one-on-one guitar lessons, um, let me know. We do them on Zoom. Um, and if you're in Townsville, you can do it in the studio. Well, even in this makeshift little thing that we got going now. But yeah, so that's that's what's been happening. Um, I've been missing doing this actual kind of content. Man, I'm actually just having heaps of fun just talking to the camera now. Um, I don't know if you guys are watching it. If you are watching it and it's uh, you know 25 minutes in, just type in the chat, be like, I'm at the 25 mark, minute mark, what's up? Um, so I really appreciate you guys um, watching the, the whole thing. So like such great feedback on like the new song I wrote. A lot of people have been like, hey, you should like record it. And I'm like, I didn't even think that I was like, I just wrote the song out of nowhere and like people like it. And I really appreciate um, your feedback guys. It's just so, so cool. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Um, the next step is I need to learn lover by Taylor Swift for my wife. She really wants it. So I'm definitely going to learn it. Um, and then I also need to learn sing. That was the other list of things that I need to get done for January. And then I need to just get into gym. And then I think, I think if I can start training in the gym three three times a week by the end of January and I can get the content flow going, I can learn those two songs. I would say January is, and we haven't missed a stream. I haven't missed a stream. Uh, as, as crazy as things have been, I have not missed a stream. So I'm so proud of that. And I'm so proud of like how actually you guys haven't missed streams. Like so many people have missed uh, like, tuned in like nearly every single day and if they haven't tuned in every day they've gone and watched the vods like you guys blow my mind at your level of support so thank you so much but i think that's it for me just letting you guys know where we're at things are things are moving we're getting things done uh i really want to get more into some tutorial stuff so if you guys want some educational based stuff if you're like hey how do i tune a guitar how do i play wagon wheel how do i do a backflip i don't know how to teach you how to do backflip but you know we could figure it out together um, all that actually Sarah knows how to do a backflip and we could do like a couple's content of us teaching you guys how to do a backflip and then that could actually happen. Um, so back, if you guys want backflip content, hashtag back, backflip in the comments and then uh, I'll see what we can do uh, at some point. We could teach you how to do a backflip. You never know. You never know. But joking aside, um, any content you guys have that you would want, please let me know. Um, if you want more covers, if you want recording stuff, if you want production tutorials, things like just anything and everything, give me ideas. I would love to make it for you. Otherwise, I'm just going to be like trying to like brainstorm my own things that I think people might like. And so if I if I do something that you definitely like, um, then I know it will work because you like it. And so I've, uh, I've achieved my goal of one person getting value out of my content. So uh, anyway. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to go get some food. I'm going to get home, finish the editing. And um, yeah, let's get this ball rolling. We've got the new studio set up done. So I've got an air conditioning uh, and I can actually function because it is not freakishly hot. So I love you all. Um, thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Woo.